Mobile County License Commissioner Kim Hastie says she is not guilty of 16 federal charges. Those charges range from conspiracy to mail and wire fraud. Local 15's Christian Jennings joins us now. And Christian, this is a 17-page federal indictment. It's right here too, Greg, and it says Hasty cultivated a culture of intimidation within the License Commission. It also accuses her of using public funds to fulfill her political goals, saying she and her deputy director shared a common plan to hide and disguise payments from the County Commission. After pleading not guilty to 16 federal charges during an arraignment hearing today, Mobile County License Commissioner Kim Hasty gave this statement. I just wanted to uh, take this opportunity to thank everyone that came here to support me today. And um, I just wanted to be able to say that I'm not guilty of these charges and I look forward to the day that we have in court to prove that. Um, I want to thank everybody there for their continued prayers and support and I thank y'all very much. Hasty is accused of conspiracy, mail and wire fraud, extortion and making a false statement to a federal agency. Her deputy director, Ramona Yeager, is also charged in the conspiracy. She too pleaded not guilty to the nine charges filed against her. It came as an absolute total surprise to her. There was no indication before the indictment came back that she was going to be in any way involved in these allegations. The indictment alleges Hasty coerced a man named Victor Crawford, who manages an IT firm that provides services for the county, to falsify invoices. The purpose, investigators say, was to hide taxpayer money Hasty was spending to promote her political ambitions of combining the license and revenue offices. We pled not guilty because Kim Hasty is not guilty. There will be no plea bargaining in this case because innocent people don't plea bargain. She did nothing wrong. She is not guilty of any of those counts in the indictment. As of now, Hasty remains the licensed commissioner for Mobile County and says she's not stepping down. Both Hasty and Yeager's attorneys say they feel confident their clients will be found not guilty. A trial date is now set for February 2nd. If you want to read the full indictment, it's on our website, local15tv.com. Kim.